Oh, yes. <laughs> when you have uh, $180,000 worth of unsecured debt, yes, <laughs> and you decide to foreclose on a house and somebody pays, uh, uh, what was it, maybe 190000 and then they sell it three months later for 155000 so as to <laughs> make the, uh, the home equity line of credit a recourse loan instead of a non-recourse loan, yes. <laughs> And then you decide to issue just one judgment. That one judgment, the writ of garnishment, protects all the other creditors because they watch to see if any of the wages were garnished to make one payment on one of the unsecured lines of credit that resets the clock on all of the... <laughs> see... Let's say you're a credit card company, coach, and you thought, well, am I going to pay the attorney fees and costs to file this in a district court? No. <laughs> I'm going to let one of these big-name Bank of America companies do it, coach. And am I going to pay the costs of the, the, the filing fees of the Superior Court to do it? No. <laughs> I'm going to let Bank of America do it, coach. <laughs> and then am I going to pay to file with the court a writ of garnishment? <laughs> no. I'm going to let Bank of America do it. Yes. <laughs> Well, you get that writ of garnishment, all of the creditors want to know when the wages are garnished because one of the credit card companies employed an attorney firm to represent their interests, yes, to recoup the losses of $38,000. <laughs> But every credit card company knows that as soon as you make one payment, it resets the clock on all the unsecured debt. So let's say you had $180,000 with unsecured debt, right? You move to Guam, pooch, thinking you're going to get a good job. <laughs> you're going to pay back all your unsecured creditors because your house just went in foreclosure and now you have a 550 credit score. Ouch! Well, being the man that I am, I realize that as soon as I make one payment on any of those unsecured debts, yes, it resets the clock on the whole 180000 Now, I sit out here year after year waiting for you to remove that protection order so that I can have custody of my sons. Yeah. But you don't feel any obligation to give me notice of hearings. No. <laughs> you don't feel an obligation that I should have the actual documents that were admitted to the court as justification for the dissolution of marriage. You don't even give me the dissolution of marriage because you know I will appeal any decision of a court where there's any forgeries. Yes. Fraud. Yes. Or no documented community property or community debt. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because my wife might not have known exactly how the credit industry works, but I did know. Pooch! I thought I might make an income in debt settlement <laughs> or credit counseling. <laughs> now, a lot of these debt settlement companies, you end up paying them 8% of the total debt that you negotiate with all the creditors. <laughs> they wrap the whole shit of Rooney in one big payment and you just start paying on all of it. Yes, you do. But if I were my own client and I had $180,000 of debt, I could arrange for approximately $10,800. Well, 8 times 10, 180,000 times 8%, that's uh, $8,000.64. That's $14,400 commission on just having me as my own client. Yeah, yeah. Now, when you're thinking about earning an income, fuck you right now because I got a dirty.